Hi friends, my name is Ann Winter and I'm going to read to you today from my new book, Everybody in the Red Brick Building. And it's not just my new book, it's also my first book, so I'm super excited to read it to you today. So let's get started. Everybody in the Red Brick Building, written by Ann Winter and illustrated by Oge Moore. Everybody in the Red Brick Building was asleep until baby Izzy sat up in her crib and howled. Wah! Woken up by a Wah! Rayhan tiptoed out of bed to check on his parrot. Rack, wake up! Woken up by a Wah! and a Rack, wake up! Benny pulled Cairo and Miles from their sleeping bags and challenged them to a game of flashlight tag. Pitter patter, stop! Woken up by a wet, a rack, wake up, and a pitter patter stomp. Natalia dropped from her bunk to launch her brand new light up rocket. Pew! Woken up by a wet, a rack, wake up, a pitter patter stomp, and a pew! Pepper bounded down from her perch, dashed across the lawn, and leapt onto a car. Now, what do you think is going to happen when Pepper lands on that car? Let's see. Wee you, wee you. Oh my goodness, that's so loud. Wah! Wake up. Pitter, patter, stomp. Pew! Wee you, wee you. Look at all the noises coming from this one building. I think probably not only is everybody in the building awake now, but I bet people down the street, up the block are awake. I bet they woke up a lot of people and animals. But fortunately, there are some people who are there to settle everyone down again. Rack, good night. Click. Quiet now. Got it. Beep. And now everybody's quiet, but they still have to go to sleep. And that can be hard in the middle of the night when you wake up. I know it's hard for me to get back to sleep sometimes. so. Let's see what they do. Back on her perch, Pepper curled up tight and listened to the shh, shh of the street sweeper. Back in her bunk, Natalia named the stars and listened to the shh, shh and the plunk, plunk of the falling acorns. Back in their sleeping bags, Cairo, Benny, and Miles closed their eyes and listened to the shh, shh, the plunk, plunk, and the ting, ting the wind chime. Back in his bed, Rayhan burrowed under his covers and listened to the shh, shh the plunk plunk, the ting ting, and the ch, ch of his parrot. Back in her mother's arms, baby Izzy snuggled close and listened to the shh, shh the plunk plunk, the ting ting, the ch, ch and the pa pum pa pum pa pum of her mother's heart until everybody in the red brick building was asleep. The end. Thank you so much for reading this book with me. I hope you liked listening to it as much as I liked reading it. And I'm wondering, what sounds do you like to fall asleep to? What helps you get sleepy at night, either when you've woken up in the middle of the night or when you're first going to sleep? Maybe it's a wind chime. Maybe it's the leaves rustling in the trees. I think for me, it might be music. Um, but I think that's something fun to think about. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I also hope you have a peaceful, restful, and very quiet night. Bye.